Good evening, folks. This is Deb Delapiana. And tonight, in your short take, we're going to be talking about the first challenger to Joe Biden. I know, I can't help but laugh because, and I know I'm going to be told I'm an insensitive lout, but the first challenger to Joe Biden is none other than Marianne Williamson. So, Let's talk about how Marianne Williamson has been sucking up all the air in the room since she made this grand and glorious announcement as if this was a big thing. First of all, let's talk about who Marianne Williamson is, okay? She's a writer, okay? And she's worth a fair amount of money because she writes books for Americans who have no idea how to live their own lives, okay? She's what we call a self-help author, okay? She is listed as a writer, a spiritual leader, and a political activist. But I question that political activism thing, and we'll get into that in a few minutes. So she's she's written books such as, I need notes for this. I'm sorry about that, but I have a lot of shit you know, in my brain, and I, I need to keep it straight. A Return to Love, A Course in Weight Loss, The Law of Divine Compensation, on work, money, and miracles. Not necessarily in that order. She's also a frequent guest on Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Oprah Winfrey. All right, now, I'm certainly happy that Oprah Winfrey votes Democrat, but Oprah Winfrey gave us Dr. Oz and Dr. Phil. And we already know the story about Dr. Oz running for Senate in Philadelphia. I don't need to go over that again. I spent plenty of time on that during the midterms. So this is Marianne Williamson's latest tweet. In order to win in 2024, the Democratic Party needs to do more than give people hope that they can survive an unjust system. We need to give people hope that we'll end an unjust system. Oh, let's all sing Kumbaya now. That's a very simplistic thought. I'd like to know just exactly how Marianne Williamson is going to bring an end to an unjust system. I've also seen videos of Marianne Williamson caught on hot mic saying that the right is nicer to her than the left is. That the Republicans are nicer to her than the Democrats. And of course they are, because they can play her like a fiddle. Because she is totally, totally out of her league running for public office. I'm sorry, folks. There are just some people who do not need to run for public office. What she needs is a fucking hobby, okay? She needs to write another book, make some more money, and go light some incense somewhere. Because she's not a political activist either. I have not heard Marianne Williamson push back on one thing that's going on in this country right now. I've not heard Marianne Williamson make one statement about the insurrection and the people who died during the insurrection. I've not heard Marianne Williamson make one comment about all of the deaths that are going on at the hands of people with guns in this country. I've not heard Marianne Williamson make one statement about the injustices that are being done to women and transgender people in this country. She's not a political activist. She's a bullshit artist. That's what she is, period. Anytime she wants to come on our stream and counter that, I will be happy to have her on. Okay? Marianne Williamson is not a political activist if these things don't bother her. But what she is doing is using the old tried and true method. She's talking about Joe Biden's warmongering ways, America's warmongering ways when it comes to fighting in the Ukraine. And the reason that people like Marianne Williamson spew this shit, and I'll tell you right now, I could name some names on Facebook of people that I used to think were awake. I don't think that way anymore. That's a very simplistic thought process, that we are just the warmongers and all this. The American war machine is at work again. Because they don't have any history in their heads. Because people don't read anymore. They just look for catchphrases and buzzwords and memes. That's all the American people think now. They get all their news from social media, and they get all their news in less than 10 words. So let's talk about what Vladimir Putin actually is doing in the Ukraine, okay? Vladimir Putin is a nuclear power who has invaded a country that gave up its nuclear weapons. 
The Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons. Russia has not given up its nuclear weapons. In fact, it has threatened the use of nuclear weapons, and the Ukrainians have stood up for that. to that. And they have a right to stand up for themselves. They are a sovereign democracy. You have a despot invading a democratic nation. Period. End of fucking story. There is no other conversation here. Okay? He's trying to halt European integration. Okay? They are committing atrocities. They have raped women. They have killed Russian people. I'm sorry, they have killed Ukrainian people and taken their children to Russia to be adopted by Russians. You know, all of the same people who used to get upset about that's what we did to Native American children. We took Native American children, put them in boarding schools so we could take their culture away. Well, that's exactly what Vladimir Putin's doing. Vladimir Putin wants you to believe that the Ukrainians are Russians. And the only reason that the Ukrainians don't think they're Russians is because someone has infiltrated their minds. Oh, probably like the West. Am I right? And he has even stricken the word Ukraine out of all the textbooks. Sound familiar? Because that's what Rod DeSantis is doing in Florida with many things. Okay? And not only that, the Ukrainians have been the subject of genocidal talk, okay? We have an article that has shown Russia talking about elimination of Ukraine and the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian nationality. This is exactly what Hitler did. Remember him? This is Marianne Williamson's sole piece of running chatter. It's all about Joe Biden's war machine. And the fact of the matter is that we are supporting an ally. That's what we are doing. You know, Vladimir Putin is not over there getting rid of fascists. You're worried about fascists in the Ukraine? But you're not worried about fascists right here. Take a look at the House of Representatives. And take a look at the Senate. There are supposedly moderate Republicans in the Senate, but none of them stand up to the fascists in the, in the House because they all want to keep their jobs. So anyone who is condoning or ignoring or putting up the blinders, not getting involved, they're just as bad as the fascists. That's the way this works. We're worried about what we're doing with the Ukraine, but we're not worried about what's going on in America. We're not worried about the Supreme Court taking people's rights away. You know, the Supreme Court is not beyond, has never been beyond making controversial rulings, but their rulings have never been to take away people's rights. They've always been to expand them. That's all gone now. That's gone. And that was done by design. We're not, we're not talking about that. Mary Williams was not talking about any of that. She's not talking about what Donald Trump did. She's not talking about how his rhetoric has called, caused violence. She's not talking about how we need to eliminate the fascists from the House of Representatives from top to bottom. She's not talking about any of that. None of that recent history is on the tip of Marianne Williamson's tongue. She's not talking about the overturn of Roe v. Wade. She's not talking about them going ahead, going after contraception now. She's not talking about them denying transgender care, not just to kids now, but in some Republican states, you can't get transgender care. They're making legislation now so that you have to be 26 to get it. Since when is this the business of the government? She wants to talk about injustice? We can start right the fuck here in this country. Marianne Williamson is a pretender to the throne. She's a distraction and she's a waste of space. She shouldn't be given any media time and she certainly should not be given any credibility by you, the American people. Because Marianne Williamson is for people who live by books and simplistic thinking. She needs a hobby. This In this country today, politics isn't a hobby. I'll talk to you all later.